Hi, and welcome to the Blending Mode class at Hummies World. We are on the Overlay Blending Mode lesson, and if you're just now joining us, just now finding these videos, I would suggest starting at the beginning and uh, go to hummiesworld.com and look in the sidebar for the Blending Mode class, and you can find the guide to go at them in order but because we're going from a top to bottom and the overlay is uh, it combines the multiply and the screen blend modes the light parts of the picture become lighter and the dark parts become darker this is probably the one most used blending mode it is uh, used, I think, more than any of the others because it's it's a fun one. It just works. And the reason it just works is you'll remember that when we were on the multiply blending mode lesson, that the multiply blending mode, you can duplicate a layer uh, of a photo that is overexposed. In other words, it has, it's too bright and apply the multiply blending mode to fix it because it magically is wonderful and fixes all the uh, overexposed areas because it makes them darker. And the screen blending mode is your magic for underexposed photos. If you uh, duplicate an underexposed photo and you apply the screen blending mode, underexposed, meaning it's too dark, hasn't got enough light in the image, it will magically fix it, the exposure um, for underexposed photos. So look at this. We have both our favorite multiply and our favorite screen blending modes wrapped all into one. It's a one-click wonder. That's what an overlay blender mode is, a one-click wonder. <coughs> Because it does, it does it all. And so, as we're doing with all of these tutorials, we're going to look at uh, this graphic and how it works, uh, what it looks like. And um, we're going to go and apply. So we've been through all the darken series and all the lighten series, and now we're in the next series. And it is voila. In some of them, in the darkened ones, we saw that uh, the, I don't even remember now. <laughs> Let's go back and look. Um, in like, for instance, multiply, we saw that it had no change on the whites. And in the screen, it had no change on the blacks. When we go to the overlay mode, it has no change in the 50% gray, but it does change the whites and the blacks. And the 50% gray, you know, is one little bitty number, 167.5 we've learned on a 255 scale. So that's not many pixels that it doesn't affect. Um, because you see it, it affects all of the pixels here in the middle, just not as much as it affects on the ends. So it makes these much brighter and these much darker. So if anywhere that it's not light enough, it's going to make lighter. And anywhere that it's not dark enough, it's going to make darker. Magic. One click magic. So here is my sample for this lesson. Um, quite simple and I don't have a whole lot um, of tips to show you with this one but let's uh, deconstruct this here is <coughs> the yummy texture that I'm going to give you um, I chose a blue one uh, just because when I was making the textures uh, you see this one I actually glued down puzzle pieces into it and when I scanned it in and was playing to make the textures, uh, a lot of them had these puzzle pieces were too heavy, uh, made uh, too much um, texture, uh, which is great if you want to see puzzle, pixel, puzzle pieces all over. Um, but 
when I made the blue version of it, it <coughs> the puzzle pieces were there, but they were more subtle, and it's actually a bit more yummy this way when it is blended. And so all I did was to apply that overlay blending mode. Oh, let's go back. The, here's my original photo. Now let's just, and you can see because of the haze on the, uh, this is the Nepali coast as we were zooming away from it, um, the haze made it uh, not so bright of colors back here as, as in the front. And we're just going to apply this and whammo, it makes the whole thing kind of pop. And then we add our text. And the only other thing I did was to add this shape. And let me go ahead and reconstruct that for you. I've gotten the custom shape tool and I found the one. Um, which one did I use? I think it was this one here with the, <clears throat> the box shape. It might have been this one. Let's see which uh, the white one with the edges. Let's see if that's it. Yeah, that's the one. It was white. It looks like this one right here and um, you see it comes up with uh, this uh, default color from my background I'm not sure why it did from my background and <clears throat> um, what I did was to go ahead and apply the overlay blending mode to this one and you see it almost uh, disappeared I did open it up then and uh, I played with it until I found it when I got light I thought that was too stark um, dark uh, you know sometimes that works really well with the overlay also uh, but I wanted it to be really subtle so I got a real neutral color in the middle somewhere um, I just clicked around until I got something I liked but then it was um, almost too subtle so to make it kind of stand out I added a drop shadow and I played with the settings for a while I don't remember exactly where I landed I think the size I had pretty small but the distance was up opacity down you know somewhere in there and um, that made for a little bit more artistic and uh, there's the one I just made and here's the one I made earlier it's a little bit more subtle this one's a little brighter so there you have it it's so easy working with the overlay blending mode and it's a lot of fun so um, I look forward to seeing what you do with it I know you're gonna have a lot of joy doing it um, and remember all of the techniques, uh, little tips I've shown you from the past um, tutorials. You can use any of them. Let's just get creative and I'll see what uh, you do. Bye.